now, the 10-minute drill. This is a big one. Brought to you by TireOutlet.com. Wholesale prices, premium service. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Hit it. Yeah. 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 Would you like to rock? Yes, I would. This when is, would you uh, like to rock? Rock right now. This is sports I'm sorry, concept. but I don't want to rock right now. Oh, no. Yeah. This is sports I, concept of damn bad. rationalization time. By the way, yesterday I just went crazy in the offices down there at CBS 47 Fox 30 uh, Action News Jacks with the um, with uh, Lil John and Kool-Aid Man. That's uh, the best, dude. Couldn't have been happier. It's the best. Uh, it's what did someone tweet you beef about the song? <laughs> <laughs> they thought that the the, ver- the lyrics <laughs> weed were honestly in there. Oh, I'm just yeah, saying. Yeah, when it, we did yeah. it. I say my own, that was my own version. <laughs> That's that was what I said. I was version. like, oh, yo, hey, full disclosure. Yeah. They, anyway. they probably listened to it expecting to hear yes. the weed yes. part, just, and they didn't yeah, get they, it. They thought yes. Kool Aid Man was like a like a stage name for an actual rapper. Yes. So anyway, um, <laughs> uh, 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 I do enjoy that, uh, and it's a great little video too. If you want to see the video, it's little, truly little, joyous. Little John and Kool Aid Man, and my and, and with all due respect to Little John, my favorite part is when Kool Aid Man goes into the oh 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 oh. That's my favorite part. Of the of my new favorite Christmas song Good. of the season, the uh, Golden State Warriors. By the are... way, at the end of this uh, segment, we'll give away a Christmas prize pack because we're in the mood right now. That's right. Yes, we are. Tis the season. Oh oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we. <laughs> Feliz Navidad. No, we. No. I like it. So anyway, all right. What were you going to ask me? More weed. Um, no, no, no. NBA. Yeah, listen, Steph yeah. Curry says the Warriors need to get their, quote, edge back. For the first time in the history of Golden State, Curry got 30, Durant got 30, and the Warriors didn't get a win. I mean, I, I don't mean to beat a dead horse here. I think we always end uh. up coming back to we think that the Warriors will be fine. But at, at, at some point, can you just be uh, milling along at a – you know, a clip of 21 and 11. I mean, let's not forget a couple of years ago, they didn't lose 11 all year. <laughs> I think a lot of buttons in here. I think it's fair to say this at this point. And by the way, I, I full, not full, but I do think it's fair to say this. When we, when we started this year, okay, we kind of, a lot of people sort of felt like, hey, this is Golden State's last last run together, that there's going to be changes. Nothing lasts forever, and it looks like this is going to be it. Well, in their four-year run, they lost 15, 9, 15, and then last year they lost 24. So 58 and 24, they still headed there. Well, they're, they're trending even worse than that. But uh, I'm not yet willing to close down shop on a team that has that many superstars. I agree with Curry. Uh, there are some issues there. But they have a great coach, they have a great organization, and most importantly, they have great players. So I suspect they're going to figure it out. But again, we were saying, wouldn't it be cool if it's your last time through? Why don't you go beat 73-9? and nine? Well, clearly that they're not focused enough to do that. So we shall see what we shall see. Uh, look, the Jaguars are so disappointing and so – bland and so frustrating it's hard to even in the 10 minute drill while we ex- exchange concepts and rationalizations come up with some sort of good question you know I've already talked about Jalen Ramsey and his comments yesterday and how refreshing uh, uh, they were we all know what's at stake here you're playing for jobs etc cetera, etc cetera. but I'd ask you this Jeff Prosser yeah as I look to the Friday five pack and I and I Lock in early on the uh, Miami Dolphins, yeah. who are only four point favorites. Okay, tell me how zero to a hundred. Mm-hmm. What percent would you put? Give me if I asked you what percentage chance do the Jaguars have to win this football game in Miami against the Dolphins? Zero to one hundred. Forty. Forty. Yeah. Okay. I don't think the Dolphins are that great. Okay. The Jags, you know, didn't didn't play their best last week. That's for sure. Okay. I, I still have. <clears throat> a belief that Leonard Fournette could potentially, you know, actually have a productive, mm-hmm. explosive game. Okay. 
<clears throat> and so that threat there uh, tells me, and the defense has proven, if they mm-hmm. want to play focused, mm-hmm. energetic, mm-hmm. important football for 60 minutes, mm-hmm. they can hold a team to under 17. See, I would, I would, I would put it at like 10 or less. Yeah, see, that's, that's a little too low for I, I, me. I, I, can't, I can't envision, especially the way they're playing, especially because they've shown no creativity on offense. I don't know where they're going to score any points. Like I said, it's going to have to be a slip screen to – Fournette, yeah. where they lose him, and, and he goes and, 78 yards. And your, your and, hope. And a defensive score. It's not confidence, it's just hope, is Correct. what you said, all right? Your hope in Leonard is, 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 should be a little bit diminished because he's hobbled this he's week. He's terrible. Again. <laughs> I don't know what he he's is. I, I don't, he was limited I'm not in practice. Buying, and I, I'm, I'm getting really frustrated with the Leonard Fournette apologist. I'm not here to absolutely kill him, but no. let's not act like everything Leonard isn't Leonard's fault. It is. You know the Jacksonville it's Leonard's fault that Leonard hasn't done anything. Do you guys remember that the Jacksonville Jaguars led the NFL in running the yes, football last year? Of course. Year? Mm-hmm. Jacksonville Jaguars led the entire we do. National Football League I in feel, rushing yards. Uh, by the way, uh, one season ago, the forty really percent. Corey Grant. Yeah, the forty percent <laughs> that I bank on. Yes. Uh, by the way, would be higher if I if I hadn't seen the mask get pulled off a. Of Cody Kessler last week. Yeah, I'm. I mean, I'm, I'm at the end of the day. It, uh, I'm at going, ten or less. We're going I, with a quarterback who now I believe isn't as good as the awful quarterback who's quarterbacked us for five years. Again, Josh Johnson had not started yeah. Lock, eight games since 2011, and he was better than Cody Kessler. Lock, and Blake Bortles. Lock me in. And Blake Bortles. Lock me in on this one, and this might be Vegas being smarter than me again. I, if 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 every week you had came to me and said, Dan. What is the percentage chance of the Jacksonville Jaguars winning this football game? Zero to 100. This week, I would give you the lowest percentage. And there's only one other week in this entire regular season where I would give you that low a percentage. And that would be next week. Mm-hmm. Well, they're not playing good. So, I, yeah. it's, that's uh, certainly understandable. But I'm interested. See, you. you giving it a 40 it makes me rethink a it's little bit. It's the NFL, bit, but I, dude. I, I know, watched the Bills go beat the Vikings. I know. I mean, that's but why. But I haven't seen anything. Well, you saw them beat a really good Colts team 6 nothing a couple of weeks ago. The Colts have been scoring like crazy. Yes. They got no points. Yes, 6. Yeah. So the defense could get a score, and they could decide yes. they're going to play, and they could win a game 16-13. Yeah. I, believe I forgot that. that the defense could get a score because they haven't done it since week one. But they can. But they can. And that's they correct. Could, and they could throw I mean – the Dolphins are going to have no Frank Gore. You know, yeah. The Dolphins aren't exactly the – They had uh, some guy named Bellage yeah, last Bellage. week goes 75 yards. Well, he's, and he's been pretty good for Bellage. Yeah. The Bellagio. I the Bellagio. Brawler. All bets are in. He's going to kill us. Oh, no. Just no. All right, I have a question for you. Uh, uh, keeping on the Jaguars. By the way, just so you all heard me, I did lock in on Miami for tomorrow. That's fine. You can have them. Thank you. Um, I might take the under. <laughs> if you go by the experts around the National Football League. Yes, sir. The Jaguars are going to end up with either Teddy Bridgewater or Joe Flacco. There is a belief out there when you yes. when you survey which quarterback on the open market will get the most guaranteed and from which team. The Jags inevitably show up as the proud new owner of either Teddy Bridgewater mm-hmm. or Joe Flacco. Okay. So my question to you is which of those two would you prefer? Good question. That's why I asked it. And I'm going to answer it quickly by answering Teddy Bridgewater. It's a great question. Because. Upside. Yeah, and I know what I'm getting with uh, Joe Flacco, who, again, has a three-year contract through 2021, as far as I can tell, if I'm not mistaken. I, I think it can be, you know, I'm reworked. sure. Yeah, and it would have Through to Flacco? Be. Yes. Well, I think they'd have to cut him, and then you sign yes. him. Yes. Yeah, Is that agent. what you're saying? Yeah. I don't okay. think anybody's so going to trade for if they were to cut Joe Flacco and you could work out a deal, uh, which one would you rather have? I would still rather have Bridgewater. Yeah. Because he's I, younger, and I'd rather take the unknown. Joe Flacco has been quarterbacking a team like the Jaguars, and they haven't done anything since they won the Super Bowl. I think Teddy Bridgewater would be. Give you a little more excitement. Yeah. Let me ask you now. I know but, in but, hindsight but, 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 you, by didn't, the way, you didn't want to make this move. I, I do want to tell you this. Either of them, you must still draft a quarterback. Absolutely. First okay. round. Okay. I, I want to ask you the this only question way you in don't hindsight. Draft, the only way you don't draft a quarterback is if somehow you, you know, al- along the lines of the, the great Dan Hicken um, theories, i.e. the Super Six, is the trade with the Eagles for Carson Wentz. <laughs> I don't think that's happening. Because 
root like hell, gang, for the Eagles to win this week yeah. and next week. They'll never and trade Carson. Slide into the playoffs. And, and, and Nick, Nick Foles, Foles can win the Super Bowl again. And They're not Nick trading. Foles wins the Super Bowl. No. Carson Wentz will be available. No, he won't. You have to have no, him. he won't. You cannot keep yeah. him. No, that's, it is a law. That's silly. If a quarterback wins the Super Bowl two now. years in a row, I'm gonna he have, must be your quarterback going forward. I have a question for the uh, Kirk Cousins hater, and I want you to be brutally honest. I yes. don't want you to do. Yes. I don't want it to be completely. That's, that. Uh, listen. You always say you hate this guy, you hate that guy, and I say no, I don't. Um, but I have shown enough towards Kirk Cousins of Correct. vehemence to yeah, very, to very agree with unfairly you. evaluate yes. Kirk yes. Cousins. I don't you like him. Do. based on his numbers yes. and what he's done Correct. and who he is. You you Fair. completely kill him. I mean, the guy this year has a passer rating of ninety nine. Yep. You are a touchdowns. hater. Yes. All right. Yes. Thank you. As it turns out, mm-hmm. the money for Kirk Cousins right equals uh-huh. almost to the penny right. The money for Blake Bortles, Andrew Norwell, in the or this year, and then yeah, for, and for moving this year forward, no, probably. no, 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 because but that's eighty four million guaranteed divided not, by yeah, no, it's eighty four million, you know. eighty four million dollars they're giving to Kirk Cousins. That's fine, okay. Which if you if Norwell and Bortles are worth the crap, you're going to pay them that too. You're not going to you Go know ahead. you're are you're operating on well, cut. Which would I rather have? No, I, and with the benefit <laughs> of hindsight, now yeah. would that have been the better? Option, would you do that now? Would you rather have Kirk Cousins mm-hmm. or would you rather have Bortles and Norwell? Well, that's easy. I mean, that's that's a, that's silly. The, okay, the, then the that's answer why the... they should have done it when they could have. <laughs> this is what you don't get. You do this all the time. I get it. No, you don't. This is this is where your teach you. lack of insight and, and, <laughs> and understanding of the league. Someday I'll get it. It uh, doesn't help. Do you put on third down or fourth down, <laughs> Beef? I can't. And that's the one I'm. Kirk Cousins wasn't coming here, no yeah. matter no matter what. That was I the mean, only. You, that's you're the only, the only person no, I I'm know not. who says that unequivocally. I, I, know I don't that. know I where know that for a fact. You're saying that as yeah. a fact. Yeah. And the only it person, and I've talked to a lot of other people whose opinions yeah. I, I don't cherish, but I also yeah. understand. I have not heard anyone else say that. Mm-hmm. I've not read that anywhere. <laughs> I'm not going to ask you to quote. Divulge your sources. I'm not going to give it away. But to just 100 percent factually say he wasn't saying here is a disservice to Guggen Nation. It's not. I'm never. Had, Doc Kevin never, Murphy's next. Give him a number. Never once have I misled Guggen Nation. Uh, well, there was maybe that one time. <laughs> there was that one. Oh, and then there was that. Well, that's true. Well, yeah, I have misled Guggen Nation many times. I apologize. Hey, let's go caller number two. Caller number two. Yesterday Dan. we went seven. Today we're going hard at two for a Christmas prize pack that includes what, beef? Boy, howdy, Dan. It's a player's gift what, pack. Howdy? Thursday edition. Hey. Uh, which means it features a pair of tickets to Thursday's first round of the 2019 players, along with the player's scarf. Also, a gift certificate good for a 60-minute massage session from Massage Envy and a gift certificate from Wingstop good for 50 wings and two sides. All you got to be is caller number two at 641-1010. And if you want to take advantage of these great gift ideas and more, check out the holiday gift guide at 1010XL.com.